There was an ex-Brett runs Pareto fundraising out in Australia. It's one of the best fundraisers on the planet, in my opinion. We don't see eye to eye on anything, but I hugely admire him in terms of his analytical ability to fundraise. In the middle of a report, in small print like this, the biggest factor of how much net income you raise is how much you spend. I went and checked it, sure enough, it applies when you do it by cause, when you do it by job fit. It is that simple. Some smaller people might have fantastic income to expenditure ratios of 10 to 1, blah, blah, blah. But the single biggest factor, the people that raise the most net income are the people that spend most getting it. It's actually not rocket science, but nobody's ever stood up and said it that, that I'm aware of. So well done, Sean. This is also time, ladies and gentlemen, to shake the tree and see what falls out. Yeah? Look at the marginal income sources, the one you're spending vast amounts of time to raise tiny amounts of money. Getting half a percent from credit card companies is great if you've got half a million credit card holders, but I know some organisations who spend a huge amount of time managing contracts on charity credit cards, they've only got 3,000 people giving half a percent of the transaction a year, and those transactions are going to because people aren't using credit cards. Yeah? The best use of staff time. There have been lots of examples like that where there are marginal income sources. Every charity has one of those big tales where there's two or three fundraising products that raise vast amounts and a lot that raise little. Really examine those in detail, focus on the profit. Get rid of anything that's making a loss, tighten up on productivity, and refocus on quality. The best way, not the easiest way. Yeah? I'm not going to stand up and say to you what that means for staff. Any of you that are good managers will realise what this is the opportunity to do, but I'm not going to get quoted in the media for actually saying it. Okay, let's move on a little bit. Let's look at getting ready for the upturn. Yeah? We know it's driving the detail and focus on quality and profit gets through the recession. What's coming right in the upturn? It's an opportunity to gain market share. It's been bandied about all over the press. Market aggressively in a recession and you'll come out with greater market share at the end. It's not just market share against other charities. You know, the fundraising transaction is we give you the opportunity to be a good person in return for a little money. Other people have been trying to do that. Government. Many, many ethical corporates, I think their messaging, Starbucks, the ethical messaging is brilliant. I'm not sure how ethical they actually are, but the messaging is absolutely fantastic. And the new religions, which aren't really owned by anybody. So health and climate change. Yeah? You know, call them new religions, because demographically and sociologically they behave like religions, not organizations. There's lots of different factions all fighting each other and preachers and about blah, 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 blah. The actual behavior of the new population is the same as the growth of a religion, not an organization. Really weird. But is that surprising, given Generation X looking for a... Oh, that's a completely different seminar, on a completely different level, and there'll be a hugely heated debate. So we'll keep that quiet so we'll have a few beers while we're doing it, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been squeezed and squeezed and squeezed by them, but this is an opportunity because we are the best at being good to use the uptown's excuse to build massive market share and get our people back bluntly. Building, we've covered that, but the one key message at the moment, you are needed. It's the most powerful message you can ever give to a human being. We need you now. This is the time to innovate. There were more inventions during the Second World War than there were in the rest of last century added up. In times of crisis, you can move fast. Organizations move quicker than they do in times of luxury. If you've got innovation and you're wanting to get through your organization to test or to roll out, this is the time to do it, because people will be forced into making decisions and making stuff happen in a way they're not. When you have the sausage machine of fundraising, put a million in, we'll get five back, pop your uncle, thanks very much for those on the five pot. Yeah? This is the time to do it. We would not have invented the bouncing bomb in peacetime, because it was a stupid idea. Yeah? 